Today I'm going to compare a Yamaha YDP165 versus a Yamaha CLP735. We're going to look at the differences, not just in cost, but in features. Stick around. Hi, this is Ted with Alamo Music Center in beautiful downtown San Antonio, Texas. Reminding you to look for us online at alamomusic.com. Sign up for notifications, do some shopping, like our website, look for us on YouTube. We have three channels, not just this piano channel. There's a guitar channel and an audio lab channel. Like some of those videos if you like them. Leave some comments. We'll, we love getting feedback from you. And uh, what else we got? Today, a comparison between the YDP-165, a new release from Yamaha. It has some new features. It's a great little piano, cost efficient, but we're going to compare it to the Clavinova line, the CLP-735, because I've been here a number of years and it seems that the YDP, their entry line, grand piano line, has a number of models and the features seem to be moving up and up and up and even moving into what was once Clavinova territory, while the Clavinovas are now moving up into premier digital piano uh, territory. So it is kind of interesting over the years, see how prices continue to come down and features and benefits of the instruments and the use of the technology just keeps coming up better and better and better. Again, the YDP-165 is a cost efficient piano as designed pretty much for beginners or hardcore practicers is the way I look at it. You can use it for a number of things, but it is, it's not an overly expensive thing and the features are somewhat limited because it's, it's geared down, so it has more affordability. But in the CLP line, the 735 actually runs about just a little bit short of twice the price. To give you an idea, the YDP-165 goes for somewhere around $1,600 range and the CLP-735 is just about twice that price. So when you're comparing them, you have to realize, do I get twice as many things? And will I have twice as much fun? Will I get twice as smart and twice as talented? Those answers remain up to you, but I'll tell you this, CLP 735 has six different ways of sensitivity in its keyboard. It has what's called the Grand Touch S keyboard. So it is a little bit different. It is a little bit, it's more likable. It has a little bit where you can actually feel the hammer lifting. It has what's known in it as key dip. You can really kind of only feel that on softer, uh, slower passages. And it is kind of like playing a grand piano. But they do have six different touch sensitivities that you can adjust on the CLP 735. The YDP does not have that. The CLP allows you to have like a hard, medium, uh, medium soft, and then a soft and a super soft. And then there's also a fixed one where every note will just come out sounding the same. Um, the YDP-165 does not really have that. It, it just has a touch-sensitive keyboard. It's the GH3 um, keyboard with it, and it does play. It is accurate. It, it's just not as likable or, or as uh, desirable, maybe, as the keyboard on the 735. Again, there is some cost involved. And so you have 10 voices on the YDP-165, and there's 38 voices on the, on the CLP-735. The CLP features the CFX Concert Grand Piano from Yamaha, and so does the YDP-165. On the CLP, you get the Bosendorfer setting. And matter of fact, they have two separate buttons set on there. One is set for the CFX, and the other one is set for the Bosendorfer. Those are premier buttons. You can always get to those sounds instantly. On the YDP-165, the CFX Grand Piano sound is the first sound that comes up in all of the 10, and it's got a good other piano that I used in it, there was one that was very, it's a little bit brighter, but it was very similar to the Bosendorfer, but it is not that sample inside of it. Uh, the 735 that is out does have a newly sampled CFX and Bosendorfer sound in it, and I believe that sound is an upgrade and it is better than what I played on the YDP-165. The sounds are different. They both have access to smart pianists. The difference being with the YDP-165, you'll have to use a wire to connect to it. With the CLP, you can use Bluetooth, and it also has a 16-track recording studio in it. Whereas on the YDP, you can record a song, either left hand separate, or right hand separate, or both hands together. 
Uh, it doesn't have anywhere near as much memory. It doesn't have the drum patterns in it that as many as the CLP has. Um, the other thing, you can go straight to a USB audio recorder. You can, on the CLP, you can do that. On the YDP, you cannot. And you have a 60 watt sound system on the CLP 735, and it has two 30 watt speakers for left and right. And the speakers are just the, the one size speaker, but it is larger than uh, the speaker system on the YDP 165. The 165, remember, only has a 40 watt amp. So you have about, you get 10 watts more per, per, per side. The speakers are a lot bigger and the cabinet is different on the 735. All the way around, if you played one right next to the other one, of course, you're gonna prefer the CLP 735, but then you have the budgetary task of making up the difference between the two of them. Let's have a listen. We're gonna compare these two in sounds. I tried to play similar passages so that you could at least hear how the acoustics ring from one piano to the other.
hope you enjoyed listening to those passages. What I mostly wanted to emphasize was the emphasis on the acoustic piano, the CFX Grand sample that's in the YDP-165 as compared to the one that's in the CLP-735. I don't know if they really, really sound that much different. I can tell you they play differently. And as a player, you respond to them differently. In the headphones, you can uh, get a little bit more discreet in listening to it. Uh, the YDP-165 has what's installed in it, a stereophonic optimizer for the headphones so that the piano doesn't sound like it's just in the headphones. The piano sounds like it's coming from the piano. Whereas on the CLP-735, by comparison, you actually have a binaural sample of both the CFX Grand and the Bosendorfer Grand. So it sounds like those two nine and 10 foot pianos are right in front of you. So those are the differences. You're looking at uh, about 20 watts in power, a couple centimeters in speaker size. Uh, you're looking at some differences in the quality and the quantity of the sounds you get. But all in all, if you're just out to practice and train and memorize, Either one of these keyboards will be great. And when you consider the YDP-165 checks off a lot of boxes that were not checked off years ago, it's a great quality instrument, but for twice the price, you can get what apparently is supposed to be twice the features, twice the sound, and twice the touch. Again, this is Ted with Alamo Music Center, inviting you again to leave us some comments. Come on in and play these two keyboards. Compare them for yourself if you're here local or at any of our, around any of our other stores. And with that, we'll look forward to seeing you here again next time on our next videos. Thank you very much.